So you know what my biggest problem with rest days is? It is that they are so fucking boring. I mean, like seriously, that sounds tongue in cheek, but it can actually be very problematic when you just love going to the gym, but you know, or you should know that in order to grow, in order to properly recover, in order to go back stronger, we need to give our body a rest. I'm not just talking about the worked muscle, the muscle that you worked yesterday or today, you need to give that a rest tomorrow. I'm talking about your entire central nervous system. Think of it like this. If you started your session with the heaviest squats possible, you were pushing yourself to failure, you couldn't then go and bash out a PR on any other lift. It would have to be some sort of supplementary exercise, some sort of secondary, perhaps isolation exercise in order to get additional benefit out of that workout. You're not gonna be able to hit two big compound lifts one after the other and give maximum output on both exercises. So that brings us to the old question, the old dilemma of recovery. How often should we be training? How long should we be recovering for? And I spoke recently about Mike Mensah. A couple of videos popped off about Mike Mensah. I got over 2,000 views. And obviously he advocates for an excessive amount of recovery to allow your muscles to completely 100% recover before hitting anything again. I'm talking one session, one workout every six, seven, eight, nine, days. That ain't going to work for most people and I've made a video about that and it's not because I think he was wrong. It's not because I'm doubting what he was saying. It's just the fact that simply people love going to the gym. Some people need it mentally more than they actually need the results themselves. So then it comes down to programming. It comes down to giving the worked muscles sufficient recovery, but also being able to get into the gym to do something else, something lighter, something less strenuous. So you can still get it out of your system. You can still get what you need out of your training, but you are also gonna come back that little bit stronger, that little bit bigger, that little bit more hench. I'm sure when we were younger, we all played those computer games, whether it be Street Fighter, Tekken, or in my case, WWF No Mercy on the N64. And your character is getting absolutely destroyed, absolutely battered. What did you have to do in that situation in order to recover? You had to evade. You had to stay away from your opponent. You couldn't take additional damage because once it starts going down towards the bottom, that damage becomes more impactful, right? You needed to let your little bar trickle its way to the top slowly. You had to keep running around the ring, make sure that Triple H, The Undertaker don't catch you. And eventually, once you hit the green zone, you're good to go again. And that is how you should think about your training. You should be absolutely battering that muscle. You should think of that muscle like your energy bar and you should be using that workout to take it all the way down to the red zone. And then just as you're about to die, just as the muscle is literally about to fall clean off your body, you should stop. And then you need to evade the gym, evade hitting that muscle again until it slowly builds back up. Now imagine this, imagine if you come back to the gym too soon. Imagine if you've recovered 70% of the way. In order to grow, in order to maximize your output, you need to recover 100%, my friend, or at least 97%. And if you're hitting your muscle again too soon, you're not gonna be fully recovered, and therefore you're gonna nullify everything that you've done in your previous workout. Now, at the end of the day, geezers, fitness is universal. I always believe that you need to self-experiment to find out what really works for you. There is no point in me sitting here and saying, I train every muscle twice a week. And I, I can't guarantee that's gonna work for you. Maybe for you, you have to train every muscle once every six months and you are gonna be jacked out of your skin in two years. You don't know that, you have to self-experiment. In my experience, training each muscle twice a week, maybe three times for weaker muscles is optimal. However, there is a caveat. The caveat being, I'm getting a little bit old now, guys. I am getting a little bit older. I do not recover as fast as I used to, and I can actually feel that lack of recovery at times. Now, I would question that recovery, that lack of recovery that I'm suddenly feeling in recent years, maybe the last year or two, is that muscular recovery that I'm feeling? Or is it the fact that my central nervous system isn't recovering as fast as it used to? What's happening here, guys, is that my body cannot go 
balls to the wall five, six times a week as it used to and recover sufficiently to keep going again. I need to cut back on my training. Yeah, I still go balls to the wall maybe four times a week. I'm gonna give my body more time to recover. I'm gonna give my muscles more time to recover. But overall, I'm gonna give my central nervous system more time to recover so that I'm not going into the gym and within the first 10, 15, 20 minutes, and this has been happening, I'm feeling absolutely drained out. I feel like I'm wasting my time. I'm gonna be going in there. I'm gonna be getting something out of every single workout. And therefore, I'm still gonna be moving in the correct direction, which is up on my fitness journey. <laughs> In conclusion, geezers, yes, rest days are fucking boring. Today, I took a rest day, I didn't train. However, I did get myself into the condo gym, which is right there, and I did 45 minutes on the treadmill, keep moving towards my fitness goals, never waste a day, and that is the way I recommend you approach things if you're tired, don't just waste a day, don't sit around, don't do nothing, do something light, do something active, keep yourself focused, eye on the prize, you're gonna keep going in the right direction. Hope this has been helpful, if you've got anything to say, pop it down below. You know where I mean. Like, subscribe to the channel, and until the next one, geezers, have a good day. Bye-bye. Yes, guys, I've just come outside, and it's a bloody gorgeous day. Look at this. Apparently, the air's full of pollution, but I don't give a shit. I just want to get suntanned on my face, get that nice red lobster look going on. Should have made the video out here, but I didn't. It's too late for that. See you later.